Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can make any iPhone run faster using 10 simple steps. There are a lot of things that you can do in order to make any iPhone run faster. So here are 10 simple steps in order to make any iPhone run faster on iOS 13. Now, the first thing you want to do is, of course, clear up the RAM memory of your iPhone. That will make any device run faster. There is a very easy way to do that on iOS 13. I did a dedicated video on this and it is really, really simple and easy to do. So you can see right now I have like 440 megabytes of free RAM memory on my device. Here's the trick. Just go ahead and open the camera app of your iPhone, the stock camera app and go ahead and close it. As simple as that. Just open close it and you can see right now i have a gig of free ram memory so just like that you will clear more than 500 megabytes of ram memory on your device simply by opening and closing the camera app the next thing you should do is free up space on your iphone so have more free storage it's recommended that you have at least 10 percent of the total storage free on your iPhone in order for the iPhone to run smoother. So if you have like a 64 gigs iPhone, you should have around seven gigs of free space on your iPhone in order for the device to run smoother. Now there are a few things you can do in order to free up space on your device. First of them is go to general, go to iPhone storage, and right here we'll see different recommendations at the top, like enable iCloud photos, empty the recently deleted, album on the photos app and of course review your personal videos if you have like large videos that you don't need you can go ahead and delete them then you will see a list of apps and here you can see all the apps are taking more space on your device if you have like apps from apple like GarageBand or iMovie they usually tend to take quite a lot of space like GarageBand will take up to two gigs of space on your iphone now if you don't need it or just use it rarely go ahead and delete it from your device there are other things you can do like under the camera settings if you go here you will have the basically the photos and video settings right here now if you go to record video you will have different formats in which you can record Record. Here you have 4K, so if you're shooting at 4K at 60 frames per second, those videos will be really, really large and they will take quite a lot of space on your device. But if you're using these videos and watching them only on your iPhone, then you don't need to shoot on 4K. Your iPhone's display is not 4K. That way, basically, they are useless if you are not using them outside of your iPhone on a 4K monitor. So what you need to do is go ahead and use 1080p, 60 frames per second, and that will make the videos be smaller in size and, of course, have more free space on your iPhone. Under the camera settings, you will also find formats. If you go here, you can use high efficiencies. Basically, these will make the photos smaller in size so they won't take up that much space on your iPhone. Of course, on the iPhone, there are a lot of processes going on at the same time. So you want to reduce most of them, those that you don't need in order for the CPU to be basically used as less as possible and the RAM memory to be used as less as possible in order for the tasks that you use daily to run faster. So one of them is under Siri and search. If you go right here, you will basically find Siri suggestions. So you will have Siri suggestions in search, in lookup, suggestions on the lock screen. Everything here will take RAM memory and CPU power. So if you're not using these, go ahead and disable any of them that you don't need in order for your iPhone to run smoother. Under the accessibility section, you will find here a few display settings that you need to configure in order for your iPhone to run smoother. So basically, if you go to motion, right here you can reduce motion. This is just to reduce all the useless animations. If you have an older device, this will really make a difference. It will just reduce the animations of iOS and you will feel it when using your iPhone. It will be much smoother. Now, if you go back and go to display and text size, you will have the option also here to reduce transparency. This also will help a ton, especially on older devices. Another very important setting is found under general and it is background app refresh. Now this is very important. 
all the apps that need to refresh in the background, they will use CPU power as well as RAM memory. But probably most of them you don't even need to be refreshed in the background. Yeah, you might need like apps that you use, like the social apps and apps that you use daily and you use a lot on your device. But most of the other apps you don't actually need to be refreshed all the time in the background. So what you need to do is go here and you will have a few options. First of all, go to background app refresh and you can choose here to turn it completely off but of course you don't want to do that you want to have some apps running refreshing in the background you go ahead and choose wi-fi there and then you can go ahead and see the list of all the apps there are apps that you probably don't even need to be refreshed in the background and you can just go ahead and turn them off from here and just leave the ones that you really need Another real important thing is found under iTunes and App Store, and it is automatic downloads. Now, this is very important if you're performing a task on your device, and at the same time, your iPhone is automatically downloading, installing updates and that stuff, then, it, of course, it will interrupt a lot. So, of course, these won't like slow down your device. If you're not doing anything on your device, they running there in the background, it's okay. But if you're doing something that's more important and at the same time, your iPhone is automatically installing, let's say updates, app updates, then that of course will interrupt. So what you need to do, go to settings, go to iTunes and App Store, and just go ahead and turn off all the automatic downloads. Of course, you can make all the updates and everything manually when your device is not running any other tasks. Lower here will also find cellular data. You can go ahead and turn automatic downloads as well there. So you go ahead and basically choose anytime you want to manually update something, you can go ahead and choose from there. Other things like video autoplay, this is for the app store when you go to the app store if your device is slow it's old it's playing videos there automatically you don't want that you go ahead and turn it off from here of course if nothing is working for you and your device is really slow then there are some like more drastic things that you can do like resetting your device so go to settings go to general and go to reset right here. Here we'll have a few options. You can reset all the settings. Now, if your device is not running good, you can go ahead and try resetting all the settings of your device. Now, what this will do is just reset all the settings to the factory default, but won't like delete your data or anything. It will have still everything there, just the settings will be reset to their default. Then if that's not working, you can go ahead and basically reset your device completely and just delete everything. You can of course back up your device and restore or you can just go ahead and erase everything from your device, the content and the settings. And then of course you can then go ahead and restore them from a backup if you have like one on iCloud or on your computer. And of course, it is always recommended that you update your device to the latest software. So go to settings, general software update, and make sure you have the latest software update. Now, Apple is always trying to fix iOS, of course, fix all the bugs, all the things that are wrong with iOS. So you want to be on the latest firmware. I know some people think that being on a lower firmware might make their device run smoother. But if you're on iOS 13, let's say you have an older device and you're on iOS 13, you cannot go back to iOS 12. So if you're already on iOS 13, make sure you're on the latest version of iOS 13. Of course, if you have an older device, it should run probably faster on iOS 12 than iOS 13. But if you're already there, you're already on iOS 13, make sure that your device is on the latest firmware of iOS 13. Again, that can be done by going to settings, general and software update. Another thing that might temporarily help on speeding up your iPhone is rebooting it. I suggest you reboot your device every one or two days. It should help a lot, especially on older devices. Make sure you reboot it. You can do a force reboot by pressing the volume up, volume down, and then holding the power button on devices without a home button. Then of course, on devices with a home button, you press the home button and the power button both at the same time until the screen goes black and you see the Apple logo. You can also just shut down the device simply by going to general and then go to shut down right here and just slide to power up and then reboot your device. Again, it will basically reboot the device and it's basically the same thing as force restarting it. So this should make your device basically refresh it and make it run a bit smoother. 
And last but not least, this is very important, make sure that you check the battery of your iPhone. Go to settings, go to battery, and right here will have battery health. Make sure that your device is performing on its peak performance capability. If your device has a battery that is old, it, of, it will of course be way, way slower. Apple has this system that they basically slow your iPhone down in order for the battery to last longer if you have of course the battery that is not healthy so it, you will see here basically a notification which will show you that you need to replace your battery so check the health of the battery if your device is not running at peak performance capacity make sure that you change the battery in order for the device to run better so that is it for this video guys these are 10 simple steps that you can follow in order to make any iphone run smoother on ios 13. i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully these steps will help you get better performance on your iphone thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one